And now we need to tell the community about these five books that have been sitting here the entire show. This is amazing. History right here. Comic fam, this is Jeff's collection of X-Men. Yeah, so this is what we call bound volumes. So what I have here is X-Men 1 through 100, including giant size X-Men 1 and 2 are in here. That's right. And we're going to make sure we have video footage. So like, you know, enjoy these shots of what were original comics that were then, and please correct me if I'm wrong, if I, I don't know if I make a mistake here, but these were actual collected comics at one point that were then provided to someone who creates books, cut the books to size that they needed because these are all very uniform and they bound them together. So at some point, and you'll see this out there, okay, this is not the only kind out there. At one point, these comics weren't as valuable as they are now, okay? And people wanted to read them and preserve them, and they could put them on a bookshelf, okay? That literally could sit in your library. So what happens is you take this to someone who bounds books, okay? Someone who does just that type of binding, and they put them in, they cut the spines. Yeah, they cut the... Dude. The, the spines are all cut, and it it's, looks like they're all trimmed. Because it's trimmed on all edges. All comics were trimmed. So this is an X-Men 1. I'm holding an X-Men 1 right now. All the pages are there, but it's been trimmed, and it's been cut down the spine so that it could be put in a, a uniform, readable book because that's what this person wanted to do back when they first bound this. And this, I mean, I got these. Let me tell you, I got this from a collection. It was random. I bought a uh, kind of a warehouse storage unit full of comics, and I went through there, and as I'm going through all these endless boxes, I come across a box that has these books in it. And I open up these books, and this X-Men 1 through 100 and a couple other were in there. Nothing as grand as this. But that was the first collection that led me to meeting Russ for the very first was time. Was it really? Yeah, because I ended that up... These, ha- where you got these, it was the first collection that like had you connect with Russ. It was the first collection that Russ ever bought, too. So he bought this collection from me as I went through it, took what I wanted, and I, and I had a bunch of leftover stuff. And so I sold him the rest, and I got to meet him through that, and we stayed in touch since. But these bound volumes, and you'll see a variety in them. I mean, Golden Age books, Silver Age books, Bronze Age books. Sometimes they won't have any cumbers. Sometimes they won't have any ads. Um, but this, this has everything. All, yeah, I was just looking through. You have the back pages of all the books in there, too. It's literally comic fam issues one through a hundred, including like the giant size cut to size and put into a book. And I think they're organized by story. So the giant size X-Men slip in there before the 100. Oh, that's very cool. So like that's some thought went into the creation of these books. And this wasn't done by Marvel. This was done by someone who made books. Like they would have had to seek out a professional. Yeah, and you can still do that to this day, by the way. You can get your books bound into volumes like this. And this had to, I mean, for me, I think that this was probably somebody who bought these books off the shelf. Yeah, okay, personal had this collection. collection had, yeah, had a personal collection, loved his books, read them, knew the order of them, put them in order, gave it to this binder, a guy to, you know, put these into volumes, give him a, give him a dust jacket. And so it's cool. I keep it just because of the nostalgia of it, like... I could sell it. I mean, it is all trimmed, but I could also read this to my grandkids when they're going to sleep one day and just be like, here's X-Men number one. And it's like an actual X-Men number one that they're looking at. Now, I got to know because it's tough to put a, a a point to like, like how much are these worth? Like, it's like, how do you figure that out? That's a tough one. You know, I mean, I don't really know if this had to go up an auction at an auction house, what it would fetch. It's so hard to tell. Sometimes you can like guesstimate a value because you can remove it from the bound volume. And if it hasn't been trimmed on the sides, which is more rare. Yeah. These were all trimmed on the side. There is no spine to any of these comics. Yeah. Then you can still sell the book and get a little value. And and you'll see that randomly. You'll see books that say removed from bound volume. Mm. But most of the time it's trimmed all over. I would say the value, you know what? I don't even know where to guess with this many it's books. Tough. It, it is. And I haven't spent the time to grade the books. Some people actually grade brown volumes and be like, oh, books VF in volume. 
you know, and they're all pressed because they're just like, yeah, they're what? all really nicely put together. <laughs> I'm so curious, comic fam, do you own any bound comics? I've seen them before, but I've never seen such valuable Silver Age comics from one to a hundred, dude, all put together nice and neat and cut to hell. They're kind of fun, man. I'm telling you, if you kind of get a chance to get one. Like I sold a few and I kind of regret it now. You know? It's a weird experience because they're literally all the same size. Like for our audio listeners who are trying to picture what this looks like, imagine taking a hundred comic books, stacking them, and then uniformly cutting them to the to like the the smallest amount. Like it looks like a real book, but there are comics in there, and they are the original comics, and they also aren't all near mint, which tells us that it was a personal collection that was then put together very cool thanks for bringing it in man yeah totally i was going through and i was like i could bring a golden age book but then like i do that every week and i was like it's cool and fun because i have plenty i want to show but then i was like i ran across these bound volumes i had and i was like we should talk about bound volumes and i mean actually one through 100 just is kind of fun to flip through and just see super unique and i'm so curious if the community has experienced or seen any bound comic books especially ones that are valuable Pretty cool stuff. 